Did you have a strangely specific and irrational fear as a kid and if so, what was it? I used to be super scared that a plane would crash into my bedroom window, like fall out of the sky and free fall glide into my bedroom window. I remember thinking quicksand was going to be a much bigger issue than it actually is. I swear quicksand was in like every show I watched as a kid, had to be extra careful at beaches as a result lol. When I was little I had a terrifying nightmare where a very particular type of power line tower was chasing me, like these giant structures pulled themselves out of the ground and were out to get me. Just seeing those things from the car made me real anxious for many years. Menacing. This would make a cool surreal short horror story. I used to be scared men with crossbows would manage to shoot their arrows through my double glazed windows and straight into my heart while I slept. I trained myself to sleep with my arms crossed like a vampire to make sure the arrows would only get stuck in my arms, not my heart. Close in your eyes in the shower. If you close it for too long then the evil ghosts can sneak up on you. I developed that fear because of Juon. In the movie, a woman is washing her hair and she feels a hand on her head. When she turns around, there's nothing there. Also, when I first got married, my poor husband didn't know that I had this fear. He once snuck into the shower when my back was turned and my eyes were closed. He felt so bad when he saw how scared I was. Only in the shower. Gotta call the ghost FBI on them, that's just wrong. For example, for me after viewing the mummy I was pretty scared that any bug that touched me would burrow into my skin. That lasted a solid year at least. Ah same same same, that scene was so traumatizing. My older brother showed me that when I was 6 and I had the same fear. My BF keeps trying to make me watch it now but I refuse. Terrifying movie. When stopped under an overpass, that it would collapse and crush me. To be fair, I did grow up in California and earthquakes can potentially do such a thing. But the level of fear I had of this as a kid far outweighed the actual chance of it happening. Spider were going to lay eggs in my ears and feed eat my brain. IDKY I was picturing that in my head as I read it, but I think I traumatized myself. Wait till a hair wiggles near the entrance and tickles you now. I was afraid of going in elevators. I saw an episode of Spider-Man where the cable of an elevator snapped. Figured that could actually happen, so I always used the stairs. See I was a smug little kid, and I was just like I'll just jump if that happens. Then Mythbusters taught me that wouldn't work, new fear was created. I was scared that I was going sleepwalk, pull down the attic stairs, walk up into the attic, then take a wrong step, and fall through the ceiling insulation she trocked to the floor below. Not really an irrational fear in my opinion. I once jumped of the stairs, because I was dreaming of jumping in the swimming pool. Like I was literally diving, head first, into the stairs, while holding a towel. My parents heard someone walking, so they came to check, and did catch me, before I hit the stairs. They love telling this story 15 or something years later. My younger brother used to be deathly afraid of cucumbers climbing in through his bedroom window. Lol what? This is the strangest one I have read. Did he think cucumbers were secret ninjas or something? He wouldn't tell us why, so we were always very confused by it. He denies that it even happened now, so the world may never know. In all seriousness, did he watch Veggie Tales? Because all I can think of is this fine creation. We actually did watch a ton of Veggie Tales as kids, so that may have had something to do with it lol. A certain Rick and Morty episode might be to blame. As a young kid, I was weirdly afraid my parents wouldn't come back whenever they went out drove around together without me. Always imagined them in a car accident and it'd make me really sad. I would just sit by the door with my dog and wait for them to come home as she dog licked up my nervous tears. They always did come back. I'm glad that one ended wholesomely haha. <laughs> Being crushed to death by water. Not drowning mind you, but massive depths kind of thing. I grew up in central Ohio. I was afraid of microwaves, because my parents would tell me that, if I looked into a microwave, while it was on, it would cook my eyeballs. I used to have nightmares, where the jolly green giant would be chasing me. I was terrified. I used to have nightmares, where a giant version of Mare McCheese was trying to crush me. Your nightmares were healthier than mine. 
I was scared of warm colors and anything that made an ee sound for a while. I was strange. What are some examples of things that make an ee sound? I'm so intrigued by this. Cicadas maybe? Those things are terrifying. I love those things I used to pick them up all the time. Fun fact in Missouri a shop made a cicada ice cream, much reduced to ee, but twice the crunch. Whenever I would ride in a car with the windows rolled down, I would put my head down and cover my hair because I thought it would blow off. This happened to me. I'm bald now. For the entirety of my time living in my parents' house, if I slept facing the wall I would have nightmares. With 100% certainty. Cold and even look at the wall once I got into bed. Because if your back is up to the wall, nothing can sneak up behind you. Butterflies. My mom told me that, if I touched a butterfly, and scratched my eyes after, I'd go blind permanently. Ever since then I kinda flinch, when a butterfly comes too close to me. My 4 year old is scared of flowers. In particular pansies. Dog's tails. I think one may have hit me, when I was learning to walk or something. I would run from our dog's tail, until I was am older. I saw this one documentary on a plane crashing into this apartment building as well as the aftermath about how many people died and such. After that, I was absolutely terrified that a plane would fly into my apartment building, and it didn't help that I would frequently hear planes outside. Being trapped in a 1970s 1980s gaudy pink, neon, flamingo decor infested, beachy type restaurants or buildings, with checkerboard style floors, after dark. No idea why. There was a place I used to go to as a kid late 1980s and 1990s that was exactly this style. Used to love that place. But had a lot of nightmares about being trapped there and trying to hide from things that were after me. Ironically enough as an adult I love the beachy and gaudy stuff. Especially in the summertime I wear a lot of Hawaiian shirts on weekends or nights out. Go figure. Scared of the television for months after watching The Ring. Same, accidentally turned on the TV, while the ring was on. I was always afraid that, depending on which direction I turned around, I would enter a good or bad dimension in doing so. Strange. Specific. Irrational. I was afraid of seeing, canvas paintings of 18th century Englishmen in powdered wigs. Objects getting bigger and bigger, without any change other than size. I used to have my parents close the blinds in the bathroom, so I could brush my teeth. Because I would think that an owl might stare at me with glowing red eyes. I used to be terrified of the last few drips of water that falls when you turn of the shower. I thought the whole house would get flooded and we would all drown. It was probably because I almost drowned in a pool one day when I was around 5. And that got me terrified of water for years. Killer bees. My 5th grade science teacher would always apprise us of how they were sweeping across the nation in the south. Sure, I lived in Wisconsin, and would never have had to worry about it, but he'd always read us these crazy tales of people dying from killer bee stings. Yo that's weird, it must be a Wisconsin thing, because I also heard the killer bee thing. New York here, I had the same fear. I was regularly terrified thinking that everyone I knew or met had cameras installed into my house and everywhere I went for the purpose of studying and manipulating me. Completely irrational, and yet sometimes, that thought creeps back in. Paranoia, you should get that checked out. Also you should buy eggs soon. Bulletin boards falling on me, and making me flat like Stanley. Why would you be afraid of that? Dream come true. I was terrified of the basement of my house. It was like you knew something was always lurking down there, in the shadows, watching you. I was so scared of the illustrations in where the wild things are, and there's a nightmare in my close tea, that I took both books off my shelf, and threw them behind it, so I wouldn't have to see the covers. I was always scared that there was some sort of octopus below the water filter in the deep end of pools. Also just deep water in general. Loud noises, they cause me to have panic attacks. Oh that's awful. I hope you were able to get help for that, I imagine that being very stressful. I wear these special earplugs, they block out the super loud noises I can't stand, but leave me with enough hearing to understand people speaking. However it sometimes is hard to hear people, if they are quiet, and I refuse to remove them in many cases. Autism is hard to live with, especially when it's not your only mental illness. 
It is very stressful. Imagine this. Someone drops a plate, and for the next 10 minimums you feel like you are going to die. As someone who has had panic attacks in their lifetime, I would hate having them be so easily triggered. As a kid, there was commercial about Fox Channel and its initial broadcast coming soon. Now, this was back in 1986, and I had no idea what Fox was. I wish I could find the commercial. In any case, completely irrational fear. The chimerical stated something about change coming. Growing up in the 80s I somehow related it to nuclear missiles. None of this makes sense, but 9 year old me was scared shitless found it. Vacuum cleaners. My mom ran over my toes by accident when I was 3 with her old metal Kirby and I bled like a stuck piglet. Nothing bad, just a little cut, but it was enough for me to be afraid to even be on the floor at the same time as any vacuum after that. I'd jump on furniture, run out of the room, anything to get away from that roaring, rolling death machine. At night looking through the eye hole of the front door expecting a face. Always thought I'd get hit in the neck by a stray bullet. Not a fear, but I would never step on shadows either. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Had a nightmare, when I was young, in which the dog was looking at me from my bedroom window second floor. Ever since then, he creeped me out. I had a nightmare about a goat nibbling my toes, a monkey biting my fingers and a giraffe grazing on my hair. I was extremely scared of that happening in real life. How did you ever survive going to a zoo, if you did go to the zoo at all? We went to see other things like wolves which were awesome and penguins most of the time. Didn't really have the fear for long though. It wasn't really a fear per se, but I absolutely hated cutting my nails for the longest time. It felt irrational, but I couldn't stand the feeling of my fingertips after freshly cutting my nails. Thankfully it doesn't both me much anymore. I guess the irrational fear was male clippers. Exact same here. I couldn't stand that feeling. I was afraid of vampires in the attic. We didn't even have an attic. Open doors at night. It's probably because my mother watched me sleep while she stood in the hallway. Just standing there. When I was younger I was afraid of eggs because I thought that a baby chicken would come out and peck my hands off. I had a reoccurring nightmare as a child where three versions of the wolf puppet from the Sesame Street version of Peter and the wolf would chase me down. Just before they would eat me, I would wake up. This went on four years until the fear of being eaten by Sesame Street wolf puppets was replaced with the fear of being eaten by Professor Lupin's werewolf form from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I didn't really get over that fear until, just before I graduated high school I'm now almost 20 to lol. That if I didn't have the sheet over my head when I was sleeping, monsters would come get me. Smoke detectors, shadows, the basement, a plane crashing into my house, elevators. A witch that lives under my bed and stabbed me with a spear from under there. Baby strollers, an amusement park trip and constantly having people bump into me with them made me become super anxious and uncomfortable around baby strollers for a few years after. I would just expect to be hit by them, even if no one was pushing it. Was deathly afraid of the small gap, where escalators meet the floor, both top and bottom. I absolutely positively could not, would not touch it. The price would be worse than death, I was sure. Every adrenaline fueled leap was made with Olympian effort. The result of one off-handed comment from my mother, when I was a lighty resulted in a phobia I had for about 5 years. Not to mention a brief spell of recurring escalator gap related nightmares. Goats. Had a dream that a goat murdered my whole family and they ate me and gave birth to me. I was like 6 and was afraid of goats for a long time. Getting abducted by aliens in my sleep because I saw too much. For some reason I was afraid of the horse from Tangled Maximus. I don't even know why. The Disney logo music from The Little Mermaid. For some reason, the five note whistle at the end of it always creeped me out. Zombies coming out of toilets after I flush. Whales. I used to be terrified of them. I used to be afraid of soap. Like the gel soap. I'd only ever use bars of soap. A ghost coming out of the toilet while flushing. I had to run behind the next corner, so he won't see me. I was scared of the backs of toilets being open, and when I flushed I was scared it would flood the whole room and I would drown. High voltage power lines, I couldn't stand nearby, or being in the car driven by my father underneath such a line made me scribing. 
Sharks swimming in that porthole you see sometimes on the sides of indoor pools. I cold and stare into them without getting freaked out. If I would look up at the roof, something would fall straight into my eye. Elevators. Especially the fear that it won't stop when I go up, gets faster, crushes against the roof and kills me. No idea where that came from.